Well, hello again. This is Liz, and I'm going to go ahead and jump into this new episode. And um, today I really want to cover something that I've been asked recently, which is, okay, with inflation, what can we do to protect our money? Well, it's obvious concern. So what I've done is really make a very good comparable of where you can feel safe uh, to really invest your money. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. And one of the things that I want to go directly, which is part of the title, is I bond um, and also ETF. That's right. So we have government, I bonds, and also uh, what we consider public uh, bonds ETF. So there's two different things. So let's go ahead and start with this one, which is I'm actually in Treasury Direct dot gov that's the website and uh very easy folks i mean to open an account with them uh i believe that anyone who's extremely concerned right now with inflation and by all means has some cash sitting down maybe in a checking account savings account barely doing misery you know an interest return by all means um if you don't need the money for at least one year, which is the minimum that, you know, they, they require you to have a the funds deposited, uh, you can open an I savings bond. And the nice thing about this, really, I'm making actually the, this part of the screen that I'm sharing is making a, com a comparable between tips, right? Um, and also with the series I saving bonds. Now, Personally, right now, I think both options are good, but the ones that's paying top interest right now due again to the high inflation that we are going through as the as the recording of this, you know, uh, uh, episode. I mean, right now the on savings is offering phenomenal return for your investment. Think about this. If we're roughly about eight and a half percent of interest um inflation, I'm sorry, then they're paying about nine point six. Uh, now, I have heard that the next uh, uh, six month series that they're going to uh, come out uh, sometime, usually in the month of November, that one might be as high as 12%. Now, again, depending when you watch this video, uh, it doesn't matter if we are anytime in high inflation, this is probably one of the more secure uh, venues where you can go and deposit. I mean, it's government backed up. Um, I mean, I, I don't know who, more safer than that. I mean, God forbid that we ever have, you know, the government going belly up, then I guess we're all in trouble, in big trouble. <laughs> so we will hopefully never see that, at least not in a lifetime. But in the meantime, this is probably one of the most secure things that you can invest your money. Again, if you don't need it for minimal year or more, I'm not talking about your savings account. I'm talking about your emergency, not talking about your uh, retirement, just the I bond itself, because for every six months, you're getting paid that interest. Okay. Um, so I really personally think that if you have it, you should uh, really put the money there. You can store as little as $25 and up to $10,000. So uh, if you don't have that much, it doesn't matter. Start with whatever you have right now. Five hundred, a thousand dollars, whatever it is that you have, but st get started somewhere, right? Which I think is the most important thing. And another thing is, you know, uh, it, it, let's talk about the tax, the taxes, right? Because obviously you're gonna make a, 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 you know, a return of your investment, but there's gonna be a tax implication. Um, and by the way, if you don't know who I am, like I said, my name is Liz Surya. I am a proactive accountant and tax advisor. I've been crunching numbers for more than 16 years. And, and what I'm trying to do in these kind of series right now is creating financial updates and tips um, in a nutshell in less than 10 minutes, okay? Again, I know we're all crunching for, number, uh, for, for really time in these days. Everything is, uh, we're very busy, including myself. Um, so again, going back to the I bonds, the most important thing to take away from this is Whatever you have, if you can invest it, it's a phenomenal return. So again, going back to my explanation, if we have eight and a half percent, think about that for a moment, and interest, and they're giving you 9.6, even at 1% above inflation, at least your money is not losing value, which is what's happening, okay? So if your money is sitting down and you have, you know, $100 sitting in an account, you're losing almost eight and a half percent. That's right. Inflation is eating up that percentage in your account. 
So that's very concerning if you think about it. Um, so again, you don't need the money, deposit is somewhere safe like it is with the government. And at least you know your principal is never gonna be lost. Uh, but again, you're making higher than inflation and that's the most important. Now let's jump really quickly. I wanna share the tips and I'm sharing here the screen as you can see. Um, and again, if you miss it, it's treasurydirect.gov. Very easy to open an account, folks. I mean, really not complicated. You can go up here, this freaking frequently asked questions. You can get the help. You can search here on the top, whatever it is that you need. They even have videos on how to take the steps by steps. Uh, to me, it's a non-brainer, it really is. Um, and again, for the tips, a little bit different. Now, tips really... Uh, you know, when it comes to earning rates, okay, as it says right here, I'm highlighting, I don't know if you're listening through the audio only or just actually watching the video, but it says principal increases and decreases with inflation, okay? Interest is calculated at are, it calculated and based upon adjustment principal and fixed interest rate, okay? So tips are a little bit different. It will, it will adjust when the interest goes up, the, in the inflation goes up, the, in the interest that's being paid to you goes up also. Now, if there's deflation, which means the opposite, then you will lose interest of that. Okay, now, in the other hand, with I-bonds, your earning rates are a combination of fixed rate of return, okay? So you know you're going to have that fixed rate right throughout those six month period because that's usually what they do okay so let's go ahead and do uh, another check here i'm going to go ahead and share the screen too and now what i want to talk about the best um government uh funds and these are what they call etf right exchange trade funds now these are active like any other regular you know if you have an e-trade account you have maybe td whatever it is that you're using these you can go inside your regular stuff, you know, account and actually purchase this ETFs, okay? And they actually like Schwab, Schwab Short Term US Treasury ETF. That's one account right there. They they have more than nine point almost eight, eight, yeah, about eight billion dollars into it. So, uh, I I think that's that sounds to me pretty safe. Now now one catch twenty two. I will tell you about this ETF. Even though they're way more affordable than a regular mutual fund, don't forget that there is an expense ratio. Okay, again, expense ratio, even if it's less than a quarter, it doesn't matter because what happens is that actually, okay, uh, you are gonna they're gonna deduct a small percentage of your uh, proceeds, uh, you know, in in an annual basis. So in this case, like with Schwab, short term USA Treasury. It's a rate, oh, at this point, it's about $49 almost per share, okay? Now, remember, ETF, we have a combination of different, right, uh, bonds into it. And now uh, you can come and visit this page if you want to look more into details or do your own research. I always tell people, do your due diligence no matter what. No matter what you hear from me or not, I'm not here to give you financial advice. I'm just making suggestions. And this is for information purposes. I want to make that disclaimer. Um, so again, this this article I took from what uh, the, the the website address is money dot us news dot okay uh, forward slash font slash e t f s okay. Um, so and I think this is going to really help you to see that you know these are like the, the highest ranking. I like this article because it's giving you the top ten holdings that this ETF has. And as you can see, as I'm sharing the screens, you know, obviously they have everything with United States Treasury notes. You can see the percentage, 1.73. You can see the maturity date, okay? Uh, you know, they, they have different sections. And like I said, right now, uh, the return has not been the best. Usually they give a return about, depending again, inflation, they can give anything from, you know, 3% up to maybe 7 8%. Right now, if you feel more comfortable and still, you know, investing in an ETF because you're more diversified. And like I said, you have different type of bonds, again, with the United States Treasury, okay? Um, but it's split into different types of bonds. That's another option that you can have. So either way, I think it's, it's, it's you need to park your money where it's going to work as hard as you working for your money. And again, very easy to open, 
uh, by all means, I mean, uh, it doesn't require too much money. The most important thing is that you jump in and you protect your money. Um, because again, if it's sitting in your account, uh, they're not paying you interest, you're not earning anything, in, and unfortunately, you're losing the face value of that money. Okay, so it's scary thought, but it really is. And I tell people to think about it this, if you have a dollar and you're losing nine, nine cents, almost eight and a half, nine cents, you know, right there, you have 91 cents out of that dollar. So multiply that by hundreds or thousands of dollars that you have, it's, it's, it's a hard hit, folks, okay? Anyhow, I hope this information has been uh, valuable to you. And again, like, share, and subscribe. Like I said, I'm going to be providing just 10 minutes, hopefully or less, most of my episodes. I want to just kind of bring up a lot of, you know, good content where people can go in and start really, you know, making savvy decisions with their money. I know how important that is. So by all means, do yourself a favor and do the right thing. Because I think, like I said, it's really, really important that we take care of ourselves. And um, like I said, going back here, I'm going to finalize this with the page. And it says it right there, as I was telling you, the news, the initial inter rate, the interest rate for I saving bonds is 9.62. Again, I heard a little bird that says that probably is going to increase to 12%. So don't miss out. Like I said, even if you have a small amount, do it now. But again, remember that it's not, you can, don't use your emergency funds to buy this because you are locked into one year. Otherwise, you're going to get penalized really, really heavily, okay? Anyhow, I hope, again, it's been a good information for you. And I'll be seeing you in the next episode as I bring more tips to you um, in, in, in a weekly basis, by the way, okay? Take care. This is Liz Soria. Bye-bye.